All right, let's continue. Let's talk about the uh, argument, finding the argument in the third and the fourth quadrant. Oh, sorry, imaginary of Z. Okay, imaginary of Z and the real axis. Okay. So, what happened if your complex number, for example, uh, z equals to uh, negative 1 minus 3, uh, negative 1 minus 3i. Can you see that? Both negative, right? Uh, both negative, negative 1 minus 3i. So, it will be negative 1, negative 1, negative 3, right? It will be in this quadrant. Okay, in the quadrant. So how are we going to find the argument, right? By follow, follow, follow the concept of the argument must in between negative hundred eighty and hundred eighty. So of course, if let's say this is already in the third quadrant, right? I know that. Okay, the value of x y understood, right? The value of x and y must be negative, right? You must know because this coordinate is four on the third quadrant where the negative x axis and the negative y axis so these two will be negative so now where should the argument be will, will, will it be correct if i write it this way no this is wrong right because this is already more than 180 right more than 180 the range is defined up to 180 only so what happened to this case is i the argument is not move in this direction it's not moving in this direction it will be in the <coughs> it will in the negative angle. Why? Because it follows clockwise. It has to follow clockwise. So from here to here, right? The clockwise. So this will be your argument. Why? Because this is still in the range, right? In the range. So, so it's the same thing. You have to find the alpha here before you find the theta. Alright? Uh, so okay, I teach you how to find the uh, argument. Alright? So it's very simple. Don't confuse by the symbol. Just understand, okay? It's just like uh, geometry 180 minus alpha, you will get the theta. Okay, before that, you have to find the alpha. I said that alpha, if you don't think, if you don't want to think, just put modulus y over x. Even though both these negative, eventually when you divide, you will get positive. So never mind. Remember, when you think about alpha, you think about modulus of y over x. Okay? y over x. So now, then you have alpha. So you got, uh, now you have to find the, uh, you have to find the alpha. After you find the alpha, you get the acute angle, right? You get the acute angle. But where's the argument? Uh, now, this will be a tricky part. The third quadrant will be very tricky if you are not very alert. So theta is the argument of z. So where, usually, students will say, Cikgu, saya ambil 180, uh, the pi here, uh, this is correct. You take 180 minus away the alpha. Okay, it seems like correct. Okay, pi minus with up tangent of modulus y over x, right? But it's still wrong. What, what is the mistake here? What is the mistake here? Because you are moving in this angle, right? You have to remember. Any angle that moving in clockwise, it has negative, right? So, this you minus, 180 minus something that less acute angle, you will get positive. But actually, you need to add up a negative in front of this. Uh, you have to add a negative for this uh, <coughs> argument in the third quadrant. So, I, I repeat again. So, the formula for argument for the third quadrant will be argument argument of z is equals to the negative y negative because it's moving in the clockwise direction so then you take the pi 180 minus away the alpha this alpha this alpha is always the same you just apply the modulus to both the value of y and x uh, so then you will got your argument correctly just by applying this formula all right it's, it's okay if you memorize the formula, but it's better that you understand the concept here, right? Uh, Alright? So, don't make yourself too stressed about the formula, but make yourself understand what is happening in this, uh, in this concept. 
So, okay, let's move on to the last part. <coughs> How about the third, uh, the fourth quadrant, right? the last part, the fourth quadrant. Okay, what happened if the, if the complex number, the complex number is in the form of like uh, 2 ma, 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 minus 4i. Ah, 2, where is 2? The real, so it's 2 is here. Negative 4 is where? Ah, it's here, right? It's in the fourth quadrant. So, alright, now we talk about argument. So, let's say if in the fourth quadrant, so can you move in in the anti-clockwise direction? Ah, I repeat again, your theta, your argument have to take the value between negative pi and pi. Okay? Uh, always remember this. Okay? Uh, so now, <coughs> I cannot move my theta. I I'm not going to draw from here in a uh, clockwise direction, uh, anti-clockwise direction. So this is actually more than 270, which is already more than 180, right? So it shouldn't happen. So, now, what is the best? <coughs> what is the best? So, you have to move in the clockwise direction. So, which is actually a negative angle. Now, for this case, remember, you have to... If you know that either one of the xy, either one of the xy is negative, then you have to think about alpha. Okay, now, alpha. Only for first quadrant, only for first quadrant, we don't talk about alpha because the angle itself is already positive. Okay, uh, positive acute angle. So, but for this case, alpha. Okay, we just find the alpha. Means except first quadrant, all the formula, all the formula for the second, third, and fourth quadrant, we are using alpha. So alpha same. If you don't think so much, you just write uh, modulus of y over x. Okay, y over x. So for example, this case, after I finding the alpha, I just put the y inside here, excellent. I don't, I don't think so much, even though I know that the, the y is actually negative, but doesn't matter, once you put in, it will become positive. Then you get the, uh, the, the acute angle, right? You will get the acute angle. So now, after you've got the alpha, you will get a positive number, right? You will get a positive number. But <coughs> the alpha itself is actually also the argument in this case. In this case, the alpha itself is also the argument. So, the argument here, which moving in the clockwise direction, must be a negative angle, right? So, very simple. So, in this case, for the fourth quadrant, for the fourth quadrant, uh, if you want to write the complex number in the polar form, the argument must be a negative. So, I can say that the argument, the formula, <coughs> of z is the same as put the negative here right understand that not you put negative right because you move it in this direction all right so negative arc tangent of modulus of y over x uh, this is a formula for the fourth quadrant so now i leave <coughs> I, I i i i summarize for you okay i summarize for you so okay look at this uh argon diagram if you love to memorize formula, then you go on, okay? Uh, you go on. So, but if you are a student that like to explore what is happening, then it's better for you to see this value, uh, video again, okay? It's good for you, alright? It's good for you. So, the real part of Z, imaginary part of Z, alright? <coughs> so, for the first quadrant, the argument, okay, I conclude, uh, I conclude. It will be the up tangent of y over x. But if you worry that you confuse, sir, when to put modulus, okay lah, I tell you lah, everything you put modulus lah. Okay? Doesn't matter, alright? If you are very easy to com confuse. So now, for this case, this is the argument. Alright? I remember, if I write theta, theta is actually a short form for argument of z. And for second quadrant, for second quadrant, the argument will be uh, the pi minus away the uh, tangent of y over x. y over x. This is actually what? It's a alpha, right? It's an alpha. So, for the third quadrant, the argument, the argument of z will be negative uh, 
pi minus b arc tangent of y over x. So <coughs> you also must have some skill of memorizing. You see, these two are the same, isn't it? The formula are the same, just one positive, one negative. Why? Why is it negative? Because they're moving clockwise. That's all. Okay? That's all you need to remember. So argument for the third quadrant. Okay, argument for the uh, for the fourth quadrant. Very simple. It's still the same as this. Okay. Uh, that's it. But it has modulus. But if I want to put modulus here, it's okay also, right, for me. So, but here, they are the same. Can you see that? This and this are the same. Yeah, here got modulus, right? But just the sign difference. One negative, one positive. This, can you see that? This and this are the same. But one positive, one negative. Uh, maybe this one can help you to memorize the formula better. Okay, we will talk about how to calculate the argument in the next video.